my name is Fadiha Sharahmani. My name is Zaki Mubarak. And my name is Bagis Alifah Mutmaina. And we are from Group 5 of Environmental Engineering Study Program at President University. And this is our terrarium project. In ecology subject, with our lecture is Sir Yosef Barita Sarmani. And we can wait to show you how we made it and what we can learn from it. So, let's go! What is a terrarium? A terrarium is a miniature closed ecosystem typically consisting of small plants, soil, and sometimes stone or other decorative items. All these components are placed inside a transparent container such as glass or acrylic. It mimics nature where plants, soil, and tiny organisms interact just like in a real forest. The cool thing is, once it's set up properly, it requires very little maintenance. Now, let's talk about how we made this terrarium. First, we added some sand at the bottom. Then, we also added small and large stone for drainage. Then, we put mesh clothes so that the soil doesn't mix with stones. After that, we layer soil and activated charcoal, also stuck in the moss, to keep the environment clean. Next, we added pillow moss as the top of terrarium, and finally, we carefully added the plants like dollar weed, fossil rocks, hair cap moss, nerva plant, or phytonia albifenis, or whatever you want, so that the ecosystem within it remains alive. The week one progress is when the ornamental plant and moss are starting to adapt to the new condition in the humid but not too wet terrarium. We also design how it looks by arranging the small stone and other decorative elements in the terrarium. In this week, we also ensure that the terrarium condition remains stable by adjusting the humidity and lighting accordingly so that the plant can develop well. For the week to progress, this is when we see and sustain our terrarium by check the water level of the terrarium twice a week. If it looks dry, we will spray it twice. Ornamental plants and moss plant in the first week began to adapt well in this controlled environment although there were some plants that seemed to grow slower because excessive heat. That's why we move the terrarium to a dimmer place and carefully maintain it so that the plants get enough light without being exposed too much to direct sunlight. For the week 3 progress, this is where the plant have grown significantly, such as many sprout growing, like Phytonia obifenis or what we call nerve plant, and the dollar wheat. The ornamental plant and most that grow sprout in the terrarium is because they have adapted well in this control environment. In order to maintain the quality of the ecosystem, we also make sure not to water the terrarium too often and also open the lid of our terrarium jar so that fresh air can enter every two weeks. The photosynthesis process is also running smoothly and the earthworms are still alive. We also have a new friend that is yellow spots millipede. Overall, the terrarium is going according to plan and we will continue to monitor and make small adjustments if necessary to ensure optimal growth of the plant in the terrarium. What can we learn from a terrarium? First, it teaches us about the water cycle, the moisture evaporates, and then drips take down like rain. Second, it shows how plants and microorganisms interact to create a balanced ecosystem. Our terrarium may be small, uh, but not so small, but it holds big lesson about life, balance, and sustainability. We hope this video inspires you to create your own little ecosystem. Also, we would like to say thank, thank you, you for watching and see you in the, the next, next project! Bye-bye!